Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with another River Raids guide. This one for farming foreign supplies. These are the supplies used to upgrade your river longship to carry more cargo, your Rams Viking Hall to recruit higher level raiders, and also to purchase a new skin for your longship. We're starting here on the River X and heading towards the Eastern Fortification. This is where I found the St. George Tower Shield. However, the armor locations can vary between players. I made a video, which I'll link in the description below, with more tips on locating the St. George's armor and clues. This is the Eastern Fortification on the River X. There's also an Eastern Fortification on the River Severn, which we'll be going to next. So you'll notice I'm coming in alone. I haven't started the raid. I haven't called in my crew. My strategy is to take out as many of the enemies as I can before calling in my crew. But don't kill all the enemies because once you kill all the enemies inside a location, you will not be able to start the raid and call in your crew and open the chests. So I've seen people complaining about bugs where they can't start a raid and for me, that happens if I kill all the enemies by coming in alone. So if you're going to come in alone, leave at least one or two enemies. And now I'm just fast forwarding this part where I'm killing almost all the enemies, but not all of them. And then once I've cleared out the outpost, I'm going to the chests to get the foreign supplies. You use Odin's Sight to locate the chests. They'll have that yellow glow. Unfortunately, you can't use your raven in the River Raids maps. So now I'm going to start the raid so I can have my Yams Vikings come and help me open the chests. This is the strategy I use to keep my Yams Vikings from dying because they're only helping me for a few minutes to open the chests. They're not actually involved in combat. But again, you can use a different strategy. The main point here is that come to the eastern fortification in the River X, dispatch with the enemies and loot both of the chests. Each have 50 foreign supplies for a total of 100 foreign supplies. And now I'm going to fast forward again to get back to my longship. I'm going to end the raid right here to make sure none of my Yams Vikings somehow get killed before <laughs> I can get back to my longship. And now I'm going to head back to Ravenstorp. So I'm going to use the down on the D-pad to bring up the menu and select return to settlement and bank my loot. So my strategy for farming these foreign supplies is to just do one military location on the River X, go back and bank my loot, and then do one on the River Severn and go back and bank my loot. And this way, if I do somehow get killed, I'm not gonna lose any supplies because I go bank them after each run. And now going to the River Severn. And unfortunately, it does take a little bit of time to go from one river to another. It's not as quick as fast travel in the normal open world. So I've tried to speed up the parts of this video as much as I can. But unfortunately, it does take a bit of time to get around these river raid maps. So once we get to the River Severn, our next destination where we're going to pick up foreign supplies is again called Eastern Fortification, but this is the Eastern Fortification on the River Severn. You may have noticed that there was a Book of Knowledge on that map that I haven't yet picked up. Well, I picked it up, it caused bugs, and so I had to revert to an earlier save. That's the Shoulder Bash ability. If you haven't heard about this bug, check out the video that I'll link in the description below. Don't pick up that book of ability. When I get here, again, I'm just going to exit my longship 
without starting a raid and just go in all alone. And you'll notice that you see the red banners in front of the fort and you see the fires burning. That means this fort is occupied. If you get to a fort and you don't see the red banners and you don't see the fires, then it means it's empty and you have to go back to your settlement, maybe do another river and then come back again. But it will, will respawn eventually, so don't get worried if you come to a location and there's no enemies and no loot there, it will come back. So here we are at the other eastern fortification, and you'll notice it looks really familiar. It's pretty much the exact same map as the other eastern fortification. And so that's why I choose these two military outposts for this farming run, because once you memorize the layout and the locations of the enemies, enemies are the exact same places here, pretty much as they were before. So I'm gonna fast forward me taking these out. So once you figure out where the enemies are, where the chests are likely to be located, it's a lot faster to get around than doing a bunch of different outposts, at least for me. And so now I'm gonna go to the two chests here to pick up the foreign supplies. And again, I need to call my Yams Vikings to help me open these chests by starting the raid. But since I have already killed most of the enemies at this camp, it's very low risk. There's very low chance any of my Yams Vikings are going to be killed. I do have rations just in case, but this is hopefully a low risk, high reward farming run because your Yams Vikings don't have to do much combat if you use the strategy of going in by yourself. But it will of course depend on your level. I'm using a max level character here and so here Eivor is generally much stronger than the Yams Vikings in combat. So now I'm gonna to return to my settlement once again to bank these supplies, the 100 foreign supplies that I've gotten from this Eastern fortification. But before I return to the first location, the Eastern fortification on the River X, I'm gonna go to the River D. And if you haven't unlocked the River D, again, check out my video. I'll link in the description for finding the river clues. You need to find two river clues in order to unlock this third map, the River D. So we're going to go to the River D and load in, but not do any raids. We're just going to exit immediately. And that seems to help reset the spawn on the military outposts. Because if you go right back to either of those two military outposts right now, chances are it's going to be empty. There won't be any of the red banners. There'll be no enemies. There'll be no chests and no loot. So I figured out this seems to be a pretty reliable way to reset the spawn on the military outpost is to go to the River D and then immediately return to settlement without doing any raids. And then the final step to get things to respawn when you get back to the settlement here is to save your game and reload before going back to the River X. So you're going to raid the two eastern fortifications, one at the River X, one at the River Severn. Then you're going to load into the River D and exit immediately and then save and reload your game. I'm going to do a quick save using the down hour on the D-pad. And then when I go back to the River X, the Eastern Fortification, the enemies will have respawned and so will the loot. And so I can once again get foreign supplies. But if it somehow doesn't respawn for you, if you get back to the fort and it's empty, just try going to another river, coming back here to the dock and then saving and reloading. 
So this method I'm showing you here is pretty reliable. And so I'm going to fast forward just to show you that the enemies have respawned. And as we approach the eastern fortification here, you see the red banners are in place, the fires are lit, indicating that we can go in and collect foreign supplies once again. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla.